I'm Jen, and I'm gay. Hi, I'm Freddie, and I'm straight. And today, we're competing to see if gay people walk faster than straight people. Da -da 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 -da. Today, we're getting ready for a little friendly competition. In this video, Freddie and I will be doing a very unscientific test to see if I, a gay, can walk faster than my friend Freddie, a straight. And on top of that, see who beats Google Maps. There have been some really funny jokes, memes, and tweets flying around that talk about this phenomenon of gay people walking quickly. One of my favorite tweets from this user called All Bagel Diet is this tweet right here. Google Maps, 12 minute walk, me. Gay, caffeinated, eight minute walk. It went super viral, it's very funny. I think the stereotype was born out of this just like silly idea that like gay people are always caffeinated. A lot of that stuff focuses on gay men or queer men walking really fast. But I'm pretty sure queer women walk just as fast. I've literally never heard the stereotype that gay people walk faster than straight people. I'm here for it and I'm here to maybe debunk that. The route Freddie and I will be taking is about three and a half miles from where we live. Freddie and I live very close to each other and so we're both equidistance from work. And so we are going to walk to work on the same day, but we are going to have midpoints along the way where our routes converge. But the idea is not for us to try and go as fast as we can. Again, go at our natural pace and see whose natural pace is faster. In LA, I don't walk as much. That's why I'm excited about this video because I want the opportunity to sort of get back to my walking roots. I have heard that I'm a fast walker. I am gay. I love caffeine. I just love moving. But I also have heard from multiple like coaches athletic people that I'm pretty slow, but I do feel confident that I will walk faster than Freddie on the way to work. I do think when I'm driving and Google Maps gives me an ETA, I do have a little bit of a competitive spirit and I'm like, I'm gonna make it before the ETA. So I'm gonna apply that to walking to work tomorrow as well. There have been some incredible investigations into this phenomenon and now you will see Freddie and mine's investigation. Hey everybody, today is the big day where Freddie and I are racing to see who can beat Google Maps the fastest on foot. So as you know, we live in Los Angeles where it is incredibly hot and you kind of need to prep for a big walk, especially one that according to Google Maps will take over an hour. As per usual, I am wearing a very trusty sun hat. Some of you may or may not remember this hat from our Kenya video a few years back. I'm just a big fan of this hat. And I don't usually wear uh, sneakers to work, but I wanted to wear gym shoes so that I could actually have good arch support when walking. I did some stretches earlier this morning and I also drank a lot of water so that I could be comfortable. So these are our lovely PAs lowering in a mall. They're gonna be following Freddie and I as we do our little walk. That's my work bag. Freddie and I are not gonna have our work bags on us when we walk. We're gonna put our work bags in their cars. I think it would slow us down. So this is not an actual true test of how we would walk to work if we had no other option, but it is a test of how we'd walk to work if our backs weren't hurting. We're both gonna be walking at at a location that is the same distance from the office as our home. Freddie lives like five minutes from me, so that's why we're picking a location for both of us to start at. We're gonna go get her. Hi. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Okay. Look at you, you look so sporty. Listen, I'm ready. We're at our starting points. Yes. Yeah. Let's enter into Google Maps our office's address. Basically, it's about 3.1 miles. Ready? Hit start on Google Maps. One, two, three. Let's go. So Jen and I are still walking. Mm -hmm. We haven't parted ways yet. I think the street that we're gonna part ways at is coming up. How are you feeling, Jen? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty light in the feet, not sweaty yet, because although it is starting to get hot, I can yeah, feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm feeling it right here. Yeah. You know, we'll see how we feel once like 30 minutes has passed and we're still not at the office. Yeah. These are our shadows walking. As you can see, our pace is basically the exact same. Right. <laughs> this is where you leave me. Bye, Jen. See ya! It's on. So it looks like they're doing construction on the other side of the street. So Jen has to cross back over to the same side of the street as me because there's just literally no sidewalk for her to walk on. Dang! Fred just texted me. Turns out that she couldn't get what she wanted from that coffee shop, so she has yet to get her breakfast and drink. The fact that Fred still has to get her drink and breakfast lets me know that our walk will be a little bit more even than I thought. She's really not that far behind me, which makes sense because she didn't actually have to stop and buy anything. I'm gonna get my snack at Starbucks and then get my iced coffee at Groundwork. All right, I got a little turkey bacon and cheddar and egg sandwich. I'm back at it. I'm still gonna stop at a separate 
place where I was originally gonna stop for my snack and iced coffee. I'm still making my way downtown. I turned behind me to see if I could see Fred because she, you know, was out of sight for a while. I can see Fred now. She's only like about two blocks behind me and I still have to get my drink. And I can't go faster. I still have to go at my normal pace. Jen got so far while I stopped at Starbucks. My coffee shop where I'm gonna stop in is about two blocks up. So once I get there, you know, hopefully she won't have caught up to me. Okay, so Jen stopped at the Starbucks over in that shopping center. I'm still walking. Still gotta make my stop number two to get my iced coffee. I got breakfast, I got coffee. Hopefully this caffeine will give me the boost that I need and I'll be able to take off and check up the Fred. She's definitely passing out. Finally made it to the iced coffee spot. There's a mall. Hello, I made it. I'm so hot. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, got my iced coffee. I have no clue where Jen is. I am a little worried that all of this liquid is gonna make me have to pee or something else because it's coffee. I wanna run because I'm like, I can't see Freddy. I haven't seen her since I went into my coffee shop. Maybe she's uh, far behind, but I don't know, she's got a feeling, so we'll see. Google Maps says 13 more minutes to the office, but I'm gonna take my quick Instagram pic right now. I kind of get why people do this. It is a lot of fun. Still don't see Fred, but I ate all my breakfast. 10.33, Google Maps is saying that I have 10 minutes left. I missed the walk. I'm getting close, which is good because I'm definitely starting to not smell great. I don't know where Freddie is. For all I know, she's already at the office. I see Jen. Turned around, and to my surprise, there's Fred, and she's gaining on me because I stopped to film. But this is crazy. If we end up walking the exact same path once we get to the office, then maybe it turns out that we're not so different after all. We're both waiting at the same light. It's ridiculous. It's a cross. Um, wow. What a, what a journey. Mm -hmm. Some race. We'll see who wins. We have about four minutes left. Freddie and I, again, we have the same pace. Yep, same pace. So we're, no one is like winning or losing. <laughs> what time did Google Maps say we get there? They said it when we would get there at 10.30. Okay. But we had stopped. We had stopped. We made it. Yeah. Fred and I did it. We walked to the office. Yeah. We did not beat Google Maps, and we did not beat each, each other. other. <laughs> Google Maps predicted it would take about an hour and two to three minutes. It took us like a nice hour 15. Yeah. But that's with obstacles along the way. Before, we had pre-decided which coffee shops we were gonna stop at. Jen, on the side of the street that she was gonna be on was gonna be the Starbucks in the Gower Shopping Center. Mm -hmm. And then mine was gonna be Groundwork, which was on the right side of the street. When we decided that, I didn't realize that Groundwork probably wouldn't have like a nice little savory breakfast option. And so that's when I was like, okay, maybe I'll make two stops and just go to a Starbucks and get a nice little Sammy and then go to Groundwork for an iced coffee. And lo and behold, I was correct. They only have like, sweet pastries. Freddie's a savory so. breakfast person yes. for sure. Yeah. Long story short, we ended up catching up with each other. Yeah. And in addition to making stops for food, we also took little selfies and posted on our Instagram story, which also slowed us down. Eating Google Maps, I think if we had not had any obstacles, we would have beat it. Although we did have a mission, it was nice to just get fresh air, take in the city, and just like get some exercise. Yeah, it was a lot less uncomfortable than I thought it would be. Do gay people walk faster than straight people? Maybe, Maybe they do. Yeah. This one clearly doesn't walk faster <laughs> than this one. Walking to work. Lady tested. Lady took an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, we didn't beat 